So, there is definitely a look at the past, looking at joyful memories, hopefully. And then the other thing, too, with this deck is one of the messages with the Six of Cups is, like, acts of kindness. But definitely, for me, immediately, I think about the past. No, you are coming in with the Emperor. Wow. Getting your shit together. Getting control of the situations that are around you. That's pretty powerful to be coming in with. The Emperor is about order, power, structure, and control. I like him because he comes in behind the Empress and starts giving, getting everything in order. Where she's like just all in this enjoyment of the abundance around her. He's like, alright, now it's time to get this stuff under control. So you're really getting control of your life for sure. And then you have reason. And what is crossing you is the Nine of Swords. So, you know, it's no wonder why the Emperor is sitting there. So I think for some of you, if you're dealing with some feelings of pain, mental pain, anguish, regret, despair, you know, the Emperor is good to see, but I just, I feel like, again, there's this need here to be careful about what you're pulling in from the past. I immediately feel like something from the past was mentally painful for you. Again, the Nine of Swords is the mental shit that we do to ourselves. You know, it's the effect. The cause is pain. It here is the effect, is you feeling it and experiencing it in your mind. You know, that mental anguish. I hate it. I hate the Nine of Swords. You know, and there's no wonder why... It's no wonder why reason and thinking clearly and needing to use your intellect is what's coming through from Lee Vampire, if that's what's crossing you. And then growth, speaking your truth, living your truth, and growing through your experiences. But I definitely feel like this has something to do with the past. The conscious mind is focused on the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the emotional bonding between two people. This immediately suggests to me a relationship. Whatever the relationship is, there's some pain involved. And it could be, you know, a past relationship. Because again, the Six of Cups talks about people from the past coming through. But there's some pain here. But you're sitting in the middle of this as the Emperor, like, no, I'm going to get control of this shit. But... Man, what's crossing you is no good. It's no good. It, you know, listen to advice, think clearly, and intellect. I keep going back to reason out of that. Now, the subconscious mind is focused on the Ace of Cups, man, oh man. So immediately I'm seeing a relationship and the subconscious mind is looking at a possible renewal here. You know, and it could have to do with somebody from the past coming through. But there's pain. There is pain involved in the past memories having to do with this. The subconscious mind is saying that, you know, if we think logically about this and we get control of these painful feelings, then maybe there's a chance here for a reconnection. The Ace of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It's the new opportunities coming through, and it has to do with love. And looking at that connected with the Two of Cups, again, it's like the renewal of a relationship, but how can you do that if you're hanging on to past painful memories? Because, again, it's crossing you. Man, oh man. Okay, now, in the past, judgment, the wake-up call. Needing to be okay with the past before you can move forward. Man, oh man. There's also that feeling with judgment, too, that you need to be careful about the judgment that you pass on yourself and others. Especially if you have somebody from the past coming through that is like, you know, bringing up these feelings of, you know, a renewal in a relationship where there's hurt feelings. But, you know, again, if the subconscious mind is focused on this renewal, you have to be okay with the past. And judgment being the past coming through, man. All right. Your next move, the Hermit. This is conflicting to the Two of Cups because the Two of Cups, Cups talks about how this is not a time to separate. It's a time to come together. But the Hermit is saying that there is a time, there is a need here for you to take some time in solitude to really think about things. The Hermit is like 
needing to find the answers from within and from within right now mentally is the nine of swords it's regret it's anguish and there's like a part of you that's like wanting to get past that between judgment and the hermit but it's like you're like wait a minute you know i need to take some time for myself right now you know and what's going on here too could suggest that maybe you're looking at a past relationship and wanting a renewal but you know there's really a need here to deal with the painful mental shit that's crossing you right now involving it i mean look at it you know but you're still sitting in the middle with the emperor like i'm gonna get control of this shit and between judgment and the hermit that's definitely what you're doing the way that you see yourself and the way that others view you the seven of wands this is the i'm not taking any more shit card so, you know, I, I have to wonder with this being here, if, you know, maybe there isn't an opportunity here for a renewal in a relationship that may be from the past, but you're like, especially with the Nine of Swords crossing you, like, no, you know, wait a minute. This is how I feel. This is what I've been through, you know, taking a stand for yourself. And that goes back to growth too, you know. <sighs> And it's understandable, absolutely. With the Nine of Swords crossing you, I, I, I would be the same way. I'm not taking any more of this shit, you know, but your subconscious mind still is saying that there is a part of you, and then even the conscious mind, wanting to have emotional fulfillment with a person. Man, oh man. In your environment, the Page of Pentacles. Seeing this in your environment, one, the pages have to do with messages. This page has to do with, you know, new opportunities for security, financial security, new work, achievement through hard work, right? Starting at the bottom and working your way up. I have to wonder here, you know, seeing the page in your environment, looking at the Six of Cups, thinking about nostalgia, people from the past, if maybe, you know, this isn't an earth sign with, you know, a younger mentality, if you're remembering them from, like, the, the your teenage years, you know, from childhood. But, you know, that being in your environment, too, is saying that there's this willingness here to put in some hard work, too. And definitely, there's going to be some hard work with getting past that Nine of Swords, for sure. Your hopes and your fears, the Seven of Pentacles, there's a need to reevaluate the situation. The Nine of, or the Seven, I'm already thinking about enjoying things. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, it's the harvest. It's, you know, reaping the rewards of the effort that you've put through. But this is reevaluation. You know, it's looking at what you have and saying, what can I do to change this? You know, what can I do to make this grow? And to me, immediately, I think reevaluating the situation and definitely with the hermit next to that, you know, you're really taking a minute here to yourself to think about things and reason and seeing the seven of pentacles, you know, using your intellect to really reevaluate this possible renewal with this relationship. And again, there's this past feeling coming through and it could have to do with an earth sign. Because, you know, again, the Six of Cups looking at the past when you were younger, and here's this younger person, right? But there's hard work here. There's hard work ahead. But you're you're definitely taking a second look at it. And then the outcome, the Two of Wands. Seeing that to me is saying that you're looking at what steps you need to take to start manifesting this. The Two of Wands for me goes back to the Magician. It's where the action starts to take place after the thought. So... You know, and again, it's like you're really taking a minute here to think about the situation. You're reevaluating it. And, you know, when you look at the Page of Pentacles and then you look at the Two of Wands, there's definitely this, you know, there's this look at, like, again, the steps that you got to take, but what kind of work are you going to have to put in here, you know? But you're really like reevaluating the situation. It's almost like you're hoping. To see what you can do to fix the mental issues involving this relationship, you know, and 
seeing the seven of pentacles and judgment you know getting that wake up call like yeah something's not right here and then you taking that moment to yourself to really think about it i mean really really think about it and reevaluate it all right uh well there's the person Ooh. what 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 is going on so here is the king of cups you know and i almost wonder what's going on here because i i definitely feel like oh man not only are you coming in with this feeling of the emperor you know but then there's also the harsh feeling of the king of swords and the king of cups is definitely the person right it could be earth it could be water but there is a person there and you know seeing the king of cups as a clarifier for the two of wands what actions are you going to take here to you know get this restart with this relationship with this person my problem is seeing the king of swords i mean which is perfect for you guys because clear intellect right but i always warn people when i see the king of swords come out because he walks a really fine line you know, you can clearly communicate things and cut through emotional issues, but when do you get to the point where you're being a little bit too harsh with your communication? He comes off as emotionally detached, and then you have the King of Cups sitting there. I have to look at him. Oh, well now. This to me is like... I almost feel like there's a shift with this person where before there was some really harsh feelings with them, but it's like they're wanting to experience some emotional fulfillment with you for sure. Between the Ace and the Ten of Cups, yes. But this is you. This is definitely you. But, you know, I feel like there's a part of you that's really taking a stand here about, you know, the shit that you've been through before with this person. That's what I feel like. Because you have the emperor that's like getting control of all this shit. And then you have, you know, your clear, ethical, moral, critical thinker, right? Which is definitely you. But it's almost like, I, I feel like maybe you might be being a little bit too harsh with this person. But it's like there's a part of you that's like reevaluating the situation between the hermit and the seven pentacles, right? Like, you're really taking a minute to yourself to think about it. Reason, again, you know, especially with the King of Swords, reason and intellect, right? You're really cutting through this bullshit here and trying to get to a spot where you know what steps you need to take involving this situation here. Because clearly, again, I mean, the subconscious and the conscious mind is both focused on this feeling of emotional fulfillment and bonding. And then here is the emotional person with emotional fulfillment with them. But this still crossing you is an issue. It is an issue. Man, oh man. Growth, you know. It, it, it to me, speaks back to the Seven of Wands. It's like you're really taking a stand for yourself, you know. You know, I, I'm really kind of pulling for that, that King of Cups there because <laughs> I almost feel like this person has changed, you know, and you're like wanting to work on the situation with this person because what you're coming in with is saying that you're like, you know, no, but yet there's still some pain involving this, you know, but you're still wanting to experience this relationship and possibly a restart or reconnection. Definitely with the two in the Ace of Cups. But love, abundance, and allow. Allow the abundance of love to come to you. All right, Aquarius. So I really feel like there are some issues with some past hurtful memories dealing with a relationship and I feel like with your subconscious mind focused on the Ace of Cups that there is potential here for like a renewal, a rebonding with this person. But you're coming in with this feeling of the Emperor like trying to get control of this, which, you know, definitely reason is coming in. And then you have you. 
right? But my worry here is that maybe you need to be careful about how harsh you are coming across to this person because, again, there's this feeling of you want to make sure that this person understands that you're not taking any more shit. If you're going to do this, right, like there needs to be understanding on the way that you feel about what you've been through before. Now, I feel like you definitely are willing to put in the work here and you're taking a minute to reevaluate the situation and again, reason using your intellect, right? But you have like a wake up call, you know, needing to be okay with past events if you're going to restart with this person, right? And this person, I feel like has changed. Like in the past, they may have caused you some really painful things. But now it's like they're bringing emotional fulfillment with them, right? And you're looking at what steps you need to take to, you know, either start working on this or start working on you, especially with the King of Swords showing up with this. So, you know, whatever the relationship may be here, I mean, obviously you're focused on it because with love showing up, absolutely. But there's also this need to allow the situation to unfold the way it needs to and to allow that abundance of love to come to you, you know, but really that's up to you and what you're doing here between, you know, really taking a look at the situation. I mean, you're really searching within here to reevaluate the situation when it comes to, you know, the painful crap that this person may have brought to you, you know, especially with it crossing you. But then growth is saying, you know, what have you outgrown here? Maybe you've outgrown hanging on to past hurtful memories is what I feel like. Because judgment, again, is saying that you need to be okay with the past before you can move forward. And this being the past coming through, you know, there's still a need here, but you know, with the emperor coming in as you, I really feel like, you know, you're wanting to get control of the situation because this is a really powerful card to be pulling. And then with the king of swords on top of it, as you definitely, you, you know, you're cutting through the bullshit you're, you're done with all that, you know, it, but there's a need here to be careful about how you handle the situation. I just feel like that needs to be said because with what you're pulling in soul trees, again, you need to allow, the situation to unfold the way that it needs to, but also you need to allow that abundance of love to come into you, you know, especially if this person is bringing emotional fulfillment with them. You know, again, there's like potential here for you to have a renewal with this relationship because clearly this is what you're focused on.